A cap table defines how a company is capitalized or owned and funded. So it defines who runs the company. It defines the effect of dilution on the ownership when new, com- when new investors come into ownership. And it defines how the company is governed in the future. A new investor will always look at the cap table to figure out how the company has been owned and what will happen in consequence of their investment in the company. So every time you raise money, it affects you and, and essentially raises worries for what happens in the next round. Uh, there are investors who will look at a cap table and say, this is a messed up cap table. There are owners that haven't been around here for two years. They did good things for the company three years ago or two years ago, and uh, now they own 5% and they're doing nothing for the company. So that's dead equity. How do we remove them? Now, if you've thought about buyouts, buy sells, a way to arbitrate the purchase or discount the purchase and remove somebody from ownership in advance, then it's easy to clean up the capitalization table. And that's what you're wanting to do with your next round of investors. The cap table defines governance, defines control, defines the capital that's been put in the business, and how well run it's been in the past in cleaning up or not cleaning up some of those people who are dead equity.